story you'll see only here. It's a social media challenge getting attention from police. Tonight they're issuing a warning to News 5 after seeing more reports of kids taking part. The Obreeze challenge involves sneaking up on unsuspecting bystanders and opening fire with water bead shooting toy guns. News 5's Tracy Carlos has a story. Bedford police took to their Facebook page warning about a new dangerous TikTok challenge called the Orbeez Challenge. Huge public safety issue and these kids don't understand it. In this TikTok challenge, they just shoot people and they film it. Unsuspecting people are shot with water gel beads that are loaded into a pellet gun, sometimes mimicking a drive-by shooting. We've had reports of FedEx drivers actually driving, being shot through the open doors in their vehicles, uh, mailmen being shot. Uh, kids coming up on a crowd of people and just opening fire on them from cars and it creates panic. People, people can get hurt very easily. From May 24th through today, Bedford police say they have responded to at least 15 calls from people about being shot with gel pellets. Bedford police have confiscated several pellet guns, including this one. He tied a bandana around so he could sling it over his shoulder. He taped a tactical flashlight to it so at nighttime he can have his flashlight on. You, you know, you imagine that coming around the corner in a pitch black place and he turns on his flashlight at you and all you see is the shape of a gun and a flashlight. And with some of the guns, Deputy Chief Rick Sutz tells me you can't tell if it's a pellet gun or a real gun, further adding to the danger for the public and police. If you've got a kid and you're letting him go around with a realistic looking toy gun, you better think twice, especially with the amount of real guns that are on the street now legally and illegally. Now Bedford police are sounding the alarm to parents and kids that this is not child's play. You've got Ohio as a constitutional carry state where anyone can carry a firearm with no licensing and someone pulls out a realistic looking Orbeez gun playing around thinking they're being funny and that person doesn't know any better and they fire back at them with a the real gun. In Bedford, Tracy Carlos, News 5. Now in Akron, investigators say Ethan Liming was with a group of friends when one of them fired water pellets from a splatterball water bead blaster at three men playing basketball outside of that I Promise school. Now that action resulted in Ethan being beaten to death. His family is now considering a lawsuit against both the toy gun manufacturer and TikTok.